Hey everybody, I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'm going to be taking an in-depth look at this phase one supercharger kit from Roush designed for the 2018 and current five liter Mustangs. If you're a 2018 or 2019 Mustang GT owner and you're in the market for a turnkey supercharger package, well, here is a really good kit that you should strongly consider. This phase one supercharger kit is a co-engineered package through Roush and Ford Performance. So attention to detail and quality is a dead given with this kit. Because of those engineering development efforts between Roush and Ford Performance, this supercharger kit will unleash the Gen 3 Coyote's full power potential with a staggering engine power rating of 700 horsepower and 610 foot pounds of torque at 12 pounds of boost with 93 octane fuel. The TVS or Twin Vortices Series Supercharger technology brings unparalleled reliability and performance and has proven itself for years in prior supercharger packages and production cars built by Roush themselves. Obviously, the main attraction of this kit is the TVS R2650 Supercharger. This root-style positive displacement blower features Eaton's 2650 rotor geometry, which incorporates twin, four-lobe rotors, that are twisted 170 degrees and provide a healthy list of performance benefits. Also with this kit will be anything and everything to install it into the car. That includes the intercooler and lower intake manifold assembly, fuel rails, fuel injectors, pre-gap spark plugs, cold air intake, larger throttle body, vacuum hoses, coolant hoses, associated wiring harnesses, front end accessory drive brackets, drive belt, heat exchanger, intercooler pump, all the needed hardware, and they even include some zip ties so you can dial in all of your wiring. It is going to be 50 state emissions legal, so every S550 enthusiast out there can enjoy this kit regardless of where they may live. Premium 91 octane fuel is going to be required per the Ford and Roush engineers because of the high performance yet very reliable calibration from Roush. This phase one kit will work with 2018 and 2019 Mustang GTs, with the exception of the Bullet, equipped with either the automatic or manual transmission. Even with that 700 horsepower flywheel rating, this kit is warrantied if a certified Ford or Roush dealer completes the install. Now, before the supercharger is installed, we are going to dyno our 2018 GT. That way we have some stock baseline numbers. All right, our 2018 GT made 415 horsepower and 397 foot-pounds of torque. The car is a performance pack car and is equipped with the 10R80 10-speed automatic transmission. Since it is a performance pack and an automatic, it has 355 rear-end gears. It did have 93-octane fuel in the tank, and the pull was made in seventh gear, which is the one-to-one -one ratio for the 10R80. Now, the vehicle speed sensor did limit the car during the dyno run, which is why you see the graph stop at 6,600 RPMs. Regardless, these Gen 3 Coyotes are making awesome power in stock trim. So now that we've obtained some stock numbers, Scott Hubbard and myself, we're gonna get the car on a two post lift and we're gonna get to work. For the most part, I think anyone with above average mechanical ability can install this kit if they go that route. If you do install the kit yourself, you will need a compatible OBD2 pass-through device to load the calibration file into the vehicle's PCM. Before we get it on the dyno, here's a little bit of mod history on the car since we purchased it late 2017. The drivetrain is still relatively stock with the exception of a carbon fiber QA1 drive shaft. It is equipped with our SVE SP2 wheels, which look really good on this car. Steeda sway bars, Steeda shocks and struts, SVE lowering springs, and several other goodies. For more info on this particular car and to check out its progression, be sure and check out our 2018 Mustang GT playlist. 
on YouTube. All right, what do you say? Let's get to the good stuff. This car is going back on the dyno to prove how much power and torque this kit can put to the rear tires. How does 641 horsepower and 567 foot-pounds of torque sound? When comparing it to the stock run, that's good for peak gains of 226 horsepower and 170 foot-pounds of torque. I did get the car to operating temperature before I made the pull, so it did have some heat in it going into the dyno run. I mean, honestly, what a time to be alive and what a time to be a Mustang enthusiast. These dang Gen 3 Coyotes continue to impress. So what do you say we go for a quick ride and see what this thing is about. Drivability is absolutely fantastic. I mean, to be honest, cruising around town, you don't even know the blower's on the car. Of course, you hit the go fast pedal, she's there. I think this kit makes great power for what it is. It was easy to put on, granted, now we did it ourselves. Of course, you can take it to a Ford certified or a Roush certified dealer and have them put this on there for you. And of course you will obtain that three year, 36,000 mile powertrain warranty, which I think is awesome. Especially, you know, with the amount of power this thing's putting out. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna get bad gas mileage no matter what. <laughs> you're not gonna keep your damn foot out of this thing. I guess if there is one thing coming from a 99 to 04 Lightning and that supercharger just whining at you, I do, I, I wish there was a little bit more, but hey, whatever. This thing hauls the mail. It's out. All right, guys, enough of me talking. I'm gonna go enjoy this a little bit more. You know what to do by now. For all things 1979 and present Mustang, and of course, SVT Lightning, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.